Hello and welcome to The Takeaway with Tyra. Thank you for joining me today. Now, so that you don't miss out on any of my updates, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also like hearing from you. So go ahead and like and comment. My guests are always exciting and have great things to share with us. So here we go. So hello once again to the Takeaway with Tyra. Thanks so much for joining me. So today I have with me Hector Daniel. Welcome Hector, I'm so glad you took time from your busy schedule to join me today. Not a problem, uh, Tyra. It's uh, whenever I get asked to do anything, pretty much I'm on call 24 seven for everybody. And, uh, uh, you know, I'll explain later. Wow. So, folks, we're going to be talking to Hector today about some of his experience in coming in to on passive. So, you know, there's always a saying, trust a friend. Now, this came up exactly for Hector. A friend of his gave him an offer about on passive. And Hector thought, you know what, I'm going to trust this because he's my friend. So Hector, explain a little bit more of the details pertaining to how you came into on passive. Certainly, I'd love to. Uh, well, you're, you're, you're very kind in, in, in how you uh, just, <laughs> just said that. <laughs> but my friend, my, one of my best friends, I uh, hadn't talked to him for two, three years, really. And uh, he phoned me on January 31st at 10.30 at night. And he told me, he says, I have something that you need to look at. No, he said, I'm sending you something. You have to look at it and you're going to call me tomorrow. And that was how it was. And I just laughed at him. Really, I did. And I said, no, I says, what are you talking about? I said, I'm too busy. I got way too much on the go. I don't have time to do anything. He goes, and then he kind of used some swear words and he said, listen, you're gonna da -da -da, watch it and you're calling me tomorrow and uh i trusted him you know the integrity and honesty of this man his name is fred everts um and he's uh an awesome individual and he's a busy guy too so he's never steered me wrong and i believe what he had to say so needless to say i watched the video that night and it struck me like a bolt of lightning because i had been thinking for a few years why can't somebody build accounting and human resources and website and email and just everything why can't you just why can't one company just do everything and lo and behold that's what i saw and i just i signed up immediately uh became a founder jan uh, february 1st was the actual date on it and year. uh of this year yeah of this year and at that at that time um i was going on faith and uh, sometimes if you trust the individual who shares this with you, you don't need to know the ins and outs and the hows and the whys and how, what, what, what. You just need to do it and then you can learn after. And I did that on the advice of uh, Frank Servideo, who brought my friend Fred into On Passive. Um, he said, you know what, I'd take two weeks and uh, like I did and do your due diligence, get in the back office and watch all the videos you can and make sure you listen to Ash Mufara whenever he speaks. Well, I did that. And the rest is history. Uh, I'm just happy right now. Right. Driving and, and learning about on passive. Well, you know, isn't that the case when a friend brings you something that is of such value? Because number one, I think a friend believes that this is going to help you. Right. Well, and, and not just that, but I know Fred and he is meticulous and he is a due diligence man. So if he was when Frank introduced Fred to this, I know that they did their due diligence. I know Fred did. And if he's done it, it's just a matter of why would I even question that? Just just do it, because I really I didn't understand what he was trying to say. He was really excited when he told me. And so I was like, OK, well, and I, that's how come I laughed at him. I just went, no, I said, I got no time. But then I thought about it that night and I watched it and pretty much that was the end for me. I yeah. immediately, I saw what, I wasn't so much, I didn't know the nuts and bolts of the business. I didn't know anything really, but I understood 
what this would mean if all of that stuff was under one platform. And, you know, that's, it's pretty important. Ash uh, really struck a chord watching his videos too. He's, uh, he's genuine and uh, that's, you don't see that often in this day and age. For sure. So before we continue, I just want to make it clear if you are listening and you have not heard about on passive before you don't have very much information and you're wondering what is this after we're done here don't leave us uh go over to onpassive.com that is our company website and everything is in there our products the details about them our locations about our ceo we have blogs we have testimonials like it's just uh, packed full of information so and i love what hector is saying you know there are people that that hear it and they jump right in and you know what that is fine because if and this is a big if because that's us as founders, we laugh about this because you do get a 30 day money back guarantee. So we would refund you. But I'm telling you, if you do what, what he, uh, Hector was just telling us about coming in as a founder and then going into your back office and learning, there's no way you're gonna give up such a valuable, valuable position in on passive. So people have no people have no idea how valuable this is. Yeah. Even even my even myself, I didn't really I didn't really understand for oh I'm gonna say March, April, May, June, probably June is when the is when the big big light bulb came on and I just went, Oh my god. And and I've been stress uh, you know, the stress is is pretty much uh I do the everyday things that everybody does. I mean, I have to work, I have to keep the wheels on the bus yeah. and uh and then when I'll get back to normal work soon, and then one day I'm not going to, I'm going to be my next job. My last job will be on passive. Yeah, that's it. Indeed. Well, and that that's the thing on with on passive because it is an AI tech company. It is huge and it's growing as we speak. So people that come in do indeed learn just kind of some of the nuts and bolts and it does take some time and even then still us as founders when we have our private meetings i mean oh my goodness when our ceo comes on our minds are constantly blown by what he shares with us his transparency his his absolute passion for the business for helping people so this That's, is taking yeah. me hector into something that we had talked about earlier and, and you were really feeling that on passive is going to so simplify online business, be it big business, small business, home business, whatever, simplify, but not only that, save it a lot of money. So I want you to expand on that because you were pretty excited about some of the figures you had. Well, um, I've been privileged to be able to work with some people overseas uh, in the Middle East. And I know the companies and I know the CEOs, I know the project managers, I know the people. Right. And uh, we, because of the, uh, the pandemic, we not working there since that hit because they shut their countries down. That was the end of that. So, you know, what I'm saying is uh, those companies, I, since being on passive, I've spoken to the, to the top people there and the owners and the CEOs and the project managers and the blah, blah, blah. And uh, they're just two companies with probably between four and 5,000 engineers uh, working on for those two companies. They were spending about 70,000 on a startup to 150,000 a month on just Zoom communications for meetings. I approached these people uh, and I told them about Unpassive. And, you know, right now, uh, if they were to have a founder position, I explained that would be a revenue stream for that company or for that department. We'd be glad to be a customer because then we can save a lot of money. And I said, okay, that's fine. But anyway, and that's perfect because I'll have a whole whack of customers. So in a nutshell, I asked them, I said, so how much uh, money do you think you would save in your companies? Just the two. 
And the guy says, well, 30, 40%. And that's human resources. That's accounting. That's uh, web hosting. That's uh, website. And that's also Zoom. Uh, and the mail is internal. It's an intranet. So it's like a, it's like a server type email system. Now, that doesn't include the VPN because VPN we have. So in a nutshell, they're going to save, and, and that's a lot of money. Like when you're talking combined with five companies, probably three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a month. If you're saving thirty percent, they're all about numbers, and but they want quality. They want absolute. If it's going to be what you say it is, we'll do it because the 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 money they spend on IT for people to make programs, talk to each other, and work together, and all this stuff that costs a lot of money. Uh, IT people aren't cheap, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I think it's going to be fantastic. If you have a small business, for instance, you can uh, geotarget the audience that you want to come to your business. One, and the, don't get me wrong, like in the beginning, there'll be some work for everybody who owns a company. There'll be some work to do to get your information into the Unpassive uh, um, ecosystem. Once it's in, the company goes to work for you. You tell it, I'd like this customer, this age group, this income in this geotargeted area. Boom. There you go. Because what's the point of targeting globally if you're a local company and your radius is 200, 300 miles? You want that radius, right? And this will all be done for them. And uh, it's uh, it's actually, it's brilliant. And I think that so many small businesses, because small businesses are what make, uh, at least over here, small businesses make North America go. And they've been suffering really, really hard in this last 18 months or so. And uh, this is an opportunity for them to to help their business, to help themselves, to help their families. And, uh, you know, the whole vision of on passive is to help humanity. Well, we can help humanity. And, and for the fee of a founder's position and an activation fee, I mean, that's a one-time thing. If you're a founder, how, how, it doesn't get any better than that. So what, what Hector's talking about here for those that, that have not ever heard about on passive and what, what these fees are about is $97 USA to become a founder. And then you hold a position within the company. Then when we go into launching as far as public, because right now we're doing things internally, once we go launching into public, we will have a subscription fee, which will be $300 or less. It will be announced to the founders at, at time of launch. So that is it. That is the two things out of pocket. And then the AI just gets to work for you. Hey, Hector. And it just starts doing what it was built to do and bringing in a uh, revenue where you're not having to pay anything more out of pocket. Exactly. Now that's the beauty of this too. There, there's a reason on passive. So you can either be on and you can share it with people that you care about, which I highly recommend, or you can be passive and you can just be a founder, pay your activation fee, do absolutely nothing. And you will, you will be very, very happy that you did. I compare this to uh, and it's probably not a fair comparison because I think uh, on passive will be one of, if not the largest, it'll be at the very top as a company globally in a very short time. And what I mean by that is the opportunity now would be, I, I would liken it to somebody who knew Bill Gates when he was working in his garage or knew Zuckerberg when he was in college or knew Elon Musk when he was brand new, just toying around with things and had a chance to to put some money into those companies anybody that put any money into microsoft back in that time when they knew bill gates that you don't even see them anymore you don't even hear about them anymore so i believe that on passives uh, going to surpass all of those companies in a very short time that's a pretty bold thing to say but i believe it because i know what we have and the value far stretches the cost way way more yeah. Well, and if you consider you're mentioning one service or one product yeah. now at right now on passive has 50 plus in their portfolio. So I I mean, it's not <laughs> like having one company. It's like having 50. Oh yeah. So it's, it's, that's a big it, deal. You know, Ash, uh, he, he does, 
he's very correct. And I know a lot of the leadership council, a lot of people I've met all over the world, you know, in passive and, uh, each of those particular platforms, whether it's O Connect or whether it's O Mail or O Staff or O Academy, um, it doesn't matter. Each one of those by themselves could be a will be a giant of a company worldwide because what's being offered is, I mean, when Ash builds when the, when the Ash decided to have this idea and did all this stuff, he wanted the very very best of the best, mm -hmm. and that's why. All these programs, they'll when when this company launches, people are going to be blown away. We as founders, we have the luckiest opportunity in the world when we switch over to the semi-launch, when we'll get to beta test the first few products, maybe five, 10 products. And you know what? I know for a fact that's going to just explode all over the world because there's a million plus of us founders now. And I like that because when I joined in back in uh, February 1st, it was 472,000. It's doubled. It's more than doubled since more. then. Yeah. And I and I had no idea. I just I thought, well, this is going to be big. And then all of a sudden, 700, 800, 900, a million. And I'm like, holy moly, this is going. So you know, it's it's really exciting. Yeah, it's truly putting a new new light on something being on fire or viral because it is really taking off. And you can see where. People have had enough, you know, people have honestly tried and tried to have, you know, a full income or maybe a second income with different kind of marketing and networking and all these things. And my goodness, like one, two percent make it and the rest of us, because I include myself, you know, yeah. we just struggle and we struggle. And uh, this is a real way for people to begin to see, as we like to say it on in on passive, our baskets filled with apples. And I'm telling you folks, this is going to be a tree that is going to be producing for a lifetime. And so, the other thing too, is uh, the, one of the biggest things that I honestly believe is Ash is brilliant in the fact that his goal is to help humanity. Now, if you're going to help humanity, there needs to be a correction to the corruption. Yes. That will take place. There's over a million very like-minded people. And, you know, Ash is looking for those people who absolutely love humanity, want to help humanity, want to help their fellow man. I have personal things that I'm going to do uh, with On Passive. And I know there's many, many people I've talked to that have the same uh, ideas and, and goals uh, for children. <clears throat> that's my number one thing <laughs> well and and i want to just kind of wrapping it up and bringing it uh to a head in what we're talking about you know you brought up children and you yourself are um married you have children um you have did you say grandchildren i have five daughters and i got six grandchildren and i got one in the oven there you go and so with something like this you know the average Joe, let's let's be honest here. We work 50, 60, well, wouldn't be quite that, but in the 50 uh, zone years, trying to make ends meet, you know, raising a family, all of these things. And a lot of us come to the end of it at 60, 65, and we barely have enough to survive and retire. Now, all of a sudden, you know, I was talking to you about a friend that that kind of said, you know, jeepers, I do want in on passive because originally she had refused it. But then she started thinking, hey, wait a second. What about legacy? If I go, I have nothing to leave my children or my grandchildren. So let's talk about legacy a little bit here, Hector, because I know that is something that really appeals to you. Well, it's not only appeals to me, it's, it's uh, really, it's the most important thing uh, other than helping children and humanity and helping homeless and all the rest of the people that are, are, are underprivileged and not because necessarily because they're any particular type of individual or race or religion or anything. It just, they got, they went through the cracks and we're supposed to have systems in place in our nations that take care of everyone and they don't. Well, when I found out uh, about on passive and then I got in, okay, 
I need to get a founder position for each one of my five daughters. We have a mixed family. So we have three, three children with my first wife and two children with the second. So there's five daughters, there's six grandkids and one in the oven. So what I did is I got them all positions. As this goes on, uh, I phoned my brother and he just, he's not too techy. He just said, what do you think? I says, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, get one for yourself and get one for the, my two nieces. I said, just do it. And he says, okay, it'll be done tomorrow. And he did it. He didn't have a clue. He still doesn't have a clue. Yeah. He just phones me once in a while and says, how's it going? Where, where are we at? And then when I told him we're over a million, he goes, oh, no way. He goes, really? Over a million? And like he was in it about the 473 or four or 5,000. But my point is, I want to be sure, and I'm actually less stressed today. I mean, everybody has their everyday stresses of work and, and you know, making sure everybody's got food on the table. However, when it comes to the future for my grandchildren, and my children, they will be set for good. So long after I'm gone, on passive will have made an impact 10, 20, 30 years down the road. They're going to be in, they'll be at the age that I am now. And I'll probably, well, I'm hoping to hit double digits. So if I hit uh, or triple digits, so if I can make it to a hundred with less stress and I can do what I really want to do, uh, there's no, nothing better than that. That's, that's the most important part that we have as a job really we have to help other people and that is uh one of the things when i was first involved and did all the due diligence and i've been on webinars this whole time like i drive a lot i do 10 hours some days i do 16 18 20 hours it depends how far i gotta go when i gotta come back but i never get tired if i go to go founders i go to the back office go into recorded webinars and i'll just start listening to them and if you can go to sleep after you hear that <laughs> and you should actually be off the road, <laughs> but I never get tired. That's what my kids all, my kids all say, well, you know, you got to slow down. I'm like, I'm not slowing down. I'll slow down one day. One day uh, you know, that, that is just amazing. And that is such a big deal because when our children are young, we don't have time to, to do a lot of the things we wish we could do. That's why we always say we have more fun with our grandkids because we end up having more and more time. So, you know, something like this is, is priceless really with legacy wise because you're creating time and financial freedom for yourself. And, and, and then, as you said, you purchase these positions. So your children are going to get set up, your grandchildren are going to get set up. And lives, lives are different. You know, when, when our full focus, you consider what is it, eight to 12 hours, most people work? Well, that's your day right there. I mean, what else are you doing? So that's what's wrong with the system. That, that's what's wrong with the system, uh, Tyra, for sure, is uh, this this opportunity will provide the kids the opportunity to spend time doing what they love yeah. to spend more time with their families to spend more time with their with their mates and and not worry about the i mean really they won't have to worry about anything this 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 is this whole system and this whole idea and this whole plan i've talked to so many people around the world when i listen to webinars and I hear some of the stories of people and the lengths that they've gone to, to even listen to somebody about on passive. It just blows me away. The people in Papua New Guinea are, are the most phenomenal people that I ever heard that experience of. And literally, would you, would you walk three days to go and listen in a park to a boom box that was Bluetooth hooked up to a cell phone and the cell phone is doing the, the, the uh, presentation and the boom box is putting it out so all the people can hear and there's people that walk for three days just to hear it like tell me tell me that's not commitment that's total commitment you no know, folks just in closing i just really want to encourage you to check this out as i said earlier it's on passive.com is our company website packed full of information you know you can reach out to hector or myself we would be more than willing to help you along and get you on the path to where you need to be. And, you know, Hector, thank you. This was really great. I sure appreciate what you shared with us today. And uh, I just, 
I just look forward to the blessing of uh, the legacy that you're building for your family with on path. Well, you know, I, I really appreciate you taking the time and asking me to do this. Uh, I've, I would love to share the story with, with everyone that I could possibly reach with your help. Maybe it'll reach more people. And, you know, I don't have to know anybody. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as they get the opportunity and, you know, the window is short and once the founder position is gone, it's gone. There will be no more founders. So a lot of people, like you said, they're a little gun shy. They're a little like, I don't understand. I don't understand. All I'm going to tell you is if somebody that you trust told you about this, you better pay attention because once the founder position is gone, it is too late. Everyone on the planet will know about Unpass very soon. I said, you know what? You can never come back to me and say, you didn't tell me because I did. And I tried to help you. Yeah. So, you know what, in a nutshell, thank you very much for doing this. Uh, I appreciate it. And I hope that uh, whoever's watching, if they are looking at on, at on passive as an opportunity, I would say you have nothing to lose and you have everything to gain. That's right. That's awesome. That's wonderful, Hector. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining me on the show today. Make sure you stay tuned because I always have these kind of amazing guests. So <laughs> thank once you so much. Again, Hector, thanks so much. It was great meeting you. Take care. Okay. Thanks, Tyra.